Well, everyone, that's what we have left of the fire we had last night. I was at work, and uh, I don't know, it's around 7 o'clock at night, maybe 6. Can't remember for sure. My girlfriend called me and said that a uh, neighbor, neighbor lit his burn pile. And uh, it spread to the grass. It sure did. He's out here fighting it with his little loader tractor. I have to come out here and dump some dirt on top of that before I leave. We go cut this morning, but I don't know. He was out here for hours trying to fight it with his loader tractor, pushing it back and spreading dirt on top of it, trying to put it out. Somebody called the fire department, called it in, and uh, I guess like 15 or 20 trucks came. And they took care of it. But it burnt a lot. He's lucky he's got these roads in here. To keep it from spreading worse than it did. Because it basically only burned up around the perimeter of this here field. Well, if you guys want to walk with me here. unbelievable I guess I don't know yesterday I got a weather or a severe fire alert on my phone when I was out cutting wood so I know it's dry out it's almost December we ain't got no snow we haven't had no rain and it's just terribly dry I don't know why he lit it on fire to burn the pile he should have waited for snow but it's just the way it goes but one picked up and caught it and just took it on him. Basically, this earlier this year he dug this trench through here. Got a little creek that flows, but obviously that didn't stop it in a big enough creek. But I think this trench saved a lot of this. this was all grass like on this side over here earlier this year and it's all dirt I think that saved it but it got darn close to going in the woods and it got darn close to going in those pines over there if it would have hit them pines oh my goodness it would have been terrible All those white pines. They would have been toast. But this whole thing spread within a couple hours. There's probably, I don't know, six acres here roughly, I'd say. Somewhere around there. Five, six acres. Right up in these here little trees here. So lucky it didn't cross over. So lucky. But there's so many fire trucks out here. It was unbelievable. Fire trucks, ambulances, cops. Nobody got hurt or nothing. So at least we made out okay that way. So close from jumping to the woods. It's unbelievable. I guess he had his loader tractor engulfed in flames. I don't know how many times. Getting stuck in the mud out here and trying to push the flames back, keeping it from the woods and going up into my place and
not a good deal that's for sure field did need to be burnt off but not like this more in a controlled manner this is unexpected that's for sure still thankful it didn't make it to the woods my place way over there and then my house is right there it gets pretty darn close I'm burning all of it up I figured I'd share it with all of you guys I go get the wheel loader out and I'm gonna go dump some dirt on top of the smoking little pile over there and put that out drive through make sure nothing else is going out see any smoke anywhere else but that don't mean anything because I'm gonna be gone all day for work and all night so just preventative I guess so well I'll talk to you guys later <laughs>